On a hot afternoon in the city of Semarang, Prabowo Subianto is working the crowds. No stranger to election rallies across this archipelago nation, Prabowo, as he's known, is in his fourth straight campaign. Almost every poll says that we're going to win in one round, but let's not be careless, let's not be complacent. This time around, he's reinvented himself to tone down the strongman image that failed to propel him to victory in past elections. Political elites in Jakarta often scold me for being rude when I talk. I am a former soldier. This is just the way I am. I don't do sweet talk. I don't talk in circles. Straight talking, which seems to have won the support of many young voters this time around. Yeah, the guess. Prabowo is firm, honest, wise. Prabowo is extraordinary. He has diligently and consistently run for president, despite having failed a few times. Many weren't even born during the most infamous period of Prabowo Subianto's past. In 1998, as the regime of Indonesia's autocratic leader Suharto was crumbling, the special forces, then under Prabowo's command, kidnapped and tortured 22 activists. Nine survived and returned, 13 were never seen again. My son was very active. He didn't want to see injustice happening before his eyes. Payun's son Utok is among the 13 activists who were never found. Because it's been 25 years, I just want legal certainty on what happened and the whereabouts of my son. Prabowo Subianto has made comments over the years acknowledging involvement in the kidnappings of the nine who survived. He said circumstances were different and he was defending the nation. But he's now more dismissive. They accuse me of doing this and that, a coup plot, abducting activists, killing them, etc. Well, what can I say, huh? This is democracy. If people believe those accusations, simply don't vote for me. He's never admitted or been directly linked to the missing 13 and their presumed killings. He was, however, dishonorably sacked from the military for his tactics. Whatever happened back then, Prabowo should not be president. Once he's in that role, our search for answers will be over. There's no more hope to fight. Payan and the families of the other victims, for now, maintain their search for answers. Monthly protests outside the presidential palace calling for these decade-old cases to be properly investigated. Despite promises to address human rights cases, outgoing President Joko Widodo has made little progress in 10 years. Now his son Gibran is Prabowo Subianto's pick for vice president. The youthful running mate is helping recast the former soldier's image to a new generation with a cute and cuddly style. It's not position that I'm after, it's not rank that I seek. I just want to see the people prosper. If Prabowo Subianto can win at least 50% of the vote, then this tilt at the top job will be third time lucky for him. If his two rivals combined can prevent him winning a majority, then he'll have to go to a runoff in June. Prabowo and his team are desperate to avoid a longer campaign for a runoff poll. And they're increasingly confident they'll seal the victory in one go this week. Bill Bertles, ABC News, Semarang, Central Java.